Hey guys, hope you're doing well and great. All right, in this content for today, I'm going to be sharing you about the topic how to start a food business without having a shop, right? So I have my little notes and I'm going to just share you some points. You get a quick idea about it. And if you have questions, please do feel free to share me your questions on the comment sections. All right, so let's go with the first topic, what you need, right? The first thing what you have to do, understand is that uh, food business is not easy right you need a lot of investment for your product to process operation legals and at the same time marketing costs advertisement all those things understand what product are you going to be making what is the food that you're going to be delivering to your audience is it the same thing or is it going to be something new that you have found right as we have mentioned earlier there is no such thing called you know new brand food it's just all about a fusion so are you trying to get into the market with your sorts of experience or sorts of your kind of a taste or something that you found right you would you want to kind of make it a integrated here and there make it a good food right so that's something you have to understand what you are going to deliver to your audience let's say now you have a plan to start your business you need to have a demo product right so how do you get the product now we are talking about not having the store at the first stage so first thing is that you need to have a demo product so how you create the demo product you purchase whatever the containers the food containers that you would be using for your production or for your business right and then at the same time purchase your ingredients purchase your basic inventory it's not going to cost you a lot so there are like about 20 to 30 sets of boxes containers it's going to cost you no more than like a 50 dollar and about your ingredients it's going to cost you no more than about 200 dollar right with this you can create all your menu items make your own capture the footage of what you're doing at the same time talk about it while you are doing it so first thing is that get supplies get your inventory get the containers from amazon inventory from the local market and while doing this you will get to know who are your local suppliers where you're going to be sourcing your inventory going forward when you are about to start your business so in the next once you have these things start preparing your food have the footage of what you are doing at the same time have your uh, social media platform you don't necessarily have to create a website but have your social media platform that's instagram TikTok, facebook get yourself promoted or get yourself marketing on this platform try to see if people really really are passionate about what you're doing it people are supporting on your journey or people are going to give you a good feedback or they're going to be engaging or sharing your contents to people right that's a very first stage of marketing without cost basically there is a cost so you can use your phone but at the same time instead of paying a thousand or two thousand when you are about to start a new business with no prior marketing you're going to be end up spending thousands and thousands of dollars but at this point you don't have to spend any money you're doing it your own from your home or from any places that you can get access understand who are going to be your target market are you going to be targeting towards uh, the gym guy the people who looked into fitness the people who are into a vegetarian diet or people who are into some sort of a casual diet or say if there is office or college nearby you are you trying to attract those guys you got to understand analyze your product and try to engage so let's say in this case you have let's say 10 products you have those pictures you have those contents try to engage and see what people are responding to you before you open the store you can always implement on the product according to the selections or the choice or the preference of your future audience right future customers future buyer so that's something that you have to understand get as much as data you can get it now the next thing once you see that you have the suppliers you have the the contents you have the footage then start building your website once you build your website do not sell it right now right because if you have to sell it you will need you have to go through license you have to get the stores locations and all those things but now at the first stage look at something that you can build a website in a very less cost maybe like about hundred dollars to two hundred dollar build a website using uh, e-commerce platform which is going to be wordpress you don't have to subscribe to some sorts of uh, you know ongoing subscriptions uh, platform like uh, shopify and all or wix or whatever right you just can build your own rack and drop stuff it's not going to be hard but it's going to be good for you to learn right so that's something that you have to keep in mind and start posting as much as 
the content that you have in your website at the same time create a subscription channel or a, a form where people who is interested with your food who wants to kind of take part in your journey let them subscribe get some email contact information phone number name all those things if they want it if they want to share it right get all those details so now let's say you have collected at least 100 to 200 from your website without launching the product you already have the image of the product you have already got the response of the customer it's time for you to go and do your research on location so once you find the locations don't look for locations which is you know thousand to two thousand feet square so now as you're going to be a small business right you don't have much money so I'm trying to come up with something less than five thousand right so you go with a place where you can get within 500 feet square now as I have mentioned in previous video there are 10 different kind of foods that you can prepare and operate and run a business as a only takeout and delivery service within 500 food square you can be a pizza subs sushi baba coffee uh, what else is there donuts right all those things you can run within 500 feet square you do not need a lot of space so for a temporary you just have to buy a little freezer refrigerators and a little of a preparation table that's all you needed right and then you already have built your, uh, your website you have already got your uh, social media platform so through this channel try to engage it right now let's say you come up to the date when you are about to start your business right what you have to do is people who already have subscribed to your uh, you know to your to your website they give your email contact them at the same time try to run a campaign for the first 30 days see do a b testing a b testing means say because now you're going to go with only for delivery and takeout so in a delivery you are anyway you're going to be paying about like a 30 to 35 persons to the delivery partners why not you give this 30 person offer to your new customers right so ask your customer to walk into your store and then you provide them 15 to 20 percent discount just because they ordered through your website or say they come and spend you know the time to travel and got 20 percent discount so in one way you are making the business and at the same time they are getting the quality of food from you or whatever that you are selling it and they are getting discount for a little bit of time right so that's the very good way that you can work around so what happened here is that once you have this product with you and you are starting marketing you have the report of this uh, a and B testing well, the first a, a, B, a B testing first let's say the A testing is about you're trying to invite new customer offering 10 to 15 percent discount and the second thing that the B testing is that you're trying to offer a customer to engage on your platform that's it you're not offering anything no discounts or anything but you're just promoting your business see which one is engaging more now if you are seeing that you are engaging more on the A testing which is that you are offering with a hook that if they purchase and come to, up to the store uh, you're going to give them a 10-15% discount you know change those uh, marketing very very soon and do not let, run that for too long because what's going to happen here is that people will start expecting that you're going to be giving every now and then a discount right but you can give a discount if they come and walk in what I'm talking about is the ad promotions because on ad promotions with a hook of a discount if you are trying to add a discount on a hook at the same time you're running an ad what happened here is that you're, you have to spend your money on the advertising cost and at the same time you're giving them a discount so you're not making any money out of it so if you are giving a hook let them come into the store walk into the store or call you and place an order so they can and can, they can come and take it uh, take up take the food from you right uh, in this way you will make more higher margin because as you know it the restaurant margin is not big but what we are looking here is the the number of quantity at the same time you got to maintain the quality so that the quantity can increase because the quality is good so this is something that you have to really really understand i hope with this content you are able to get some sort of a kind of a brief idea there is a lot of processing steps that goes on but as i've been in this industry for quite some time i can explain to you in a very short you know uh, summary but I have got to that you have got the idea about what I'm trying to share with you so if you have a plan as a business owner or say you want to be an entrepreneur in the food industry first thing what you have to do is get your inventory get the supplies make a footage of it 
promote your product through social media platform, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Once you have all those engagement, take all the good pictures and build your website. Once you build that website, you know it, you're going to get some people who are going to purchase your order, right? So if you're getting like 200 to 300 people who are participating, just that's a good sign, right? Then what you do is go for a location, get your location. Once you start it, so run an ad, run an ad with a hook, which means that you're going to give them uh, 10 days or 15 days or 30 days promotions if they come and pick it up the food but you've got to spend on that money for some time right for 30 days period or 15 days period whatever the time that limited you want to give it to but then what happened is that people are going to come in with that hook which means that you are going to be able to attract new audience new customers but what happened here is that you can you are building your reputation so now down the line you already have got at least 100 to 200 database of people engage with them offer them good quality of food offer them some time you know a combo meal or something like that in this way they will be able to refer another person and that's how it goes as long as you can maintain the process it, as long as you can maintain the food quality everything will come up in time just kind of a strong enough in your morale because down the line it's, there's going to be a lot of things that's going to go in the business sometimes it's going to be very stressful sometimes it's going to be very awkward but never ever give up just understand your strategy follow your strategy have a strategy in mind that's not going to be perfect but be quick enough to implement on your processing your business uh, re revenue generation so that's what you have to understand now guys uh, I hope this content is helpful for you if you guys would like to know more about all this kind of content please do subscribe to the channel at the same time if you have friends and folks who would be interested make sure that you guys share this content to them as well here i, I want to announce with you guys uh, an episode or a series down the line where we will be able to you know give out somebody with a build-up restaurant building from scratch and we will have to capture the footage i would need your support as long as i get 50,000 subscribers in this channel i will be able to achieve that and give up that new restaurant build up restaurant to someone who is our follower who is our patrons who is a subscriber or who has a dream to have their own food business one day we're going to give that for free but for that i need your support i want you to get share this content and, and as long as we reach the 50,000, we will be able to start the project. All right, guys, that's for today. Until next video, you guys have a good day. Take it easy. Cheers.